fans in the football community today joined the family of trailblazing striker Cyril Regis to pay their respects at his memorial service at the stadium where he made his name. Hundreds of people turned out to pay their respects to the former England and West Brom star as his cordage passed the Hawthorns Stadium and headed for his funeral service. And thousands more, including football legends John Barnes, Ron Atkinson, Andy Cold, Dwight York, Les Ferdinand and Chris Kamara, later packed out the east stand of the Premier League ground for a public memorial service to celebrate his life. Regis, who died suddenly on January 14, was described as one of the modern game's pioneers and a crusader against bigotry in a time when racism was rife in football. His daughter, Michelle told of what a wonderful grandfather he was with his strong unconditional love. She said, who will love the grandkids the way you did? Legend, gentleman, Big C. You had so many names, but I couldn't be prouder just calling you my dad. His nephew and former footballer Jason Roberts said, For all my life it has been easy to be Cyril Regis's nephew. But today carrying his coffin with my father and my cousins, it was the first time it's been hard to be Cyril Regis's nephew. Bring Him Home from Les Miserables was sung by Chris Love to open the service, with club anthem The Lord's My Shepherd also played. Chants of Nice One Cyril, Nice One Son were heard around the ground from the 2,000-strong crowd in attendance. His son, Robert, described his father as their walking, talking, living superhero and had the crowd laughing as he spoke of how he was thankful he didn't have the spandex to go with it. He continued in a light-hearted tone saying, My dad is adored. Every day we'd hear your dad scored a great goal today, your dad is a hero. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well your hero just grounded me for a month. His wife of 11 years Julia read the eulogy.she began saying it was difficult to write and explained, I have still not fully come to terms with the fact I will not see his infectious smile again. I am proud to have shared my life with a man of such integrity and character. Former teammate Brendan Batson said, we played at a time when black players endured vile abuse, but Cyril never lost his cool, nor was he ever intimidated. It motivated him to play even better. How could anyone think they could intimidate the big man? You couldn't. We are blessed to have known him. Nice one, Cyril, nice one, son. His friend Darren Moore, who is a coach at WBA, today described him as an absolute gent, a friend, a mentor, a role model. Mr. Moore spoke about the role Regis played behind the scenes, offering advice, friendship, and support. Moore said, what a great man he was. For me, he was an absolute gent, a friend, a mentor, a role model. All that goes with that. We are here to pay our respects and support for the family. It's an emotional day. Regis was described as our brightest star by Jonathan Barnett, chairman of the Stellar Agency, where Regis worked as an agent. As a player he was strong, direct, cool and resilient, as an agent he showed every one of those qualities, and so much more, he said. We had a young client on the fringes of the game, struggling at home, making mistakes, beset with demons. There was only one man for the job, and in Cyril, went. A decade later that client is a Premier League star who owes everything to Cyril. Former teammate Brendan Batson said, We played at a time when black players endured vile abuse, but Cyril never lost his cool, nor was he ever intimidated. It motivated him to play even better. How could anyone think they could intimidate the big man? You couldn't.
We are blessed to have known him. Nice one, Cyril, nice one, son. The celebration was planned by Cyril's widow Julia and the couple's children and honored the late Baggies striker's own last wishes. She said, We want the event to celebrate Cyril's life and to be an uplifting occasion. This is how he wanted to be remembered. Regis was very clear about how he wanted this day to be in the songs, lively atmosphere and personal tributes are a reflection of his wishes, along with those of his wife Julia and his children Robert and Michelle. There were from across the many facets of his life delivered by Brendan Batson, Graham Daniels from Christian in Sport, football agent and chairman of Stellar Group Jonathan Barnett, John Sillett, manager of the Coventry City team with whom Cyril won the FA Cup and John Homer, chairman of WBA's official supporter club. Family tributes were provided by Regis's children Robert and Michelle, his nephew and former Albion striker Jason Roberts, and his brother and ex-professional footballer Dave Regis. The eulogy was read by his widow, Julia Dodd. Among those who were there are former footballers Brendan Batson, Mark Bright, Les Ferdinand, Andy Cole and Dwight York. Ian Wright, Mark Walters, Diane Dublin, Paul Ince, Jason Roberts, Cyril's nephew, and Viv Anderson were also there to honor their friend. Before the service, Baggy's manager Alan Pardew led his team and staff outside the club's megastore, and there was a round of applause as the procession went past. Regis was a trailblazer for black players in English football and made 297 appearances for the Baggies, scoring 112 goals. He earned five caps for England and won the FA Cup with Coventry in 1987. Tributes poured in earlier this month for a man, described by his wife as a wonderful husband, father, grandfather, brother, and uncle. He is survived by his wife, who he married in 2006, his children from his first marriage, Robert and Michelle, and his grandchildren, Jada, Renate, and Riley. Regis was described as one of the modern game's pioneers and a crusader against bigotry. Born in French Guiana, Regis moved to West London with his family as a five-year-old and came late to professional football after being spotted as a teenager by non-league Malasi. West Brom put their faith in him when they paid £5,000 to take him to the Hawthorns in May 1977. He moved to Coventry in a £250,000 switch in 1984. Regis played his football in an era when racism was rife, paving the way for future generations along with Laurie Cunningham and Brendan Batson at West Brom and becoming just the third black player to win a full England cap, the first of five, when he lined up against Northern Ireland in February 1982. He did so having been sent a bullet through the post, a chilling indictment of the climate in which he built his career. Regis, who became an MB in 2008, had spells at Aston Villa, Wolves, Wickham, and Chester as his playing career drew to a close, and after spending four years on the coaching staff at the Hawthorns, worked as a football agent until his death. 